Today I'm going to show you how to do a cube steak in the crock pot. I'm using deer uh, cube steak. You can use beef, of course. I just want to start off with some flour. I'm going to use some uh, garlic powder. Use some kosher salt. And some pepper. Okay, you just want to whisk it together. I'm going to add some more um, pepper and uh, probably a little bit more garlic powder. You just want to fix it to however you like it to taste. Okay, you just want to take your pieces and you just want to dredge them in the flour. You want to do the keep one hand clean method when you do this. And as always, I'm using a, some gloves, a little bit cleaner. All right, you just want to do that to all the pieces. Okay, I have the oil at 375 degrees. You just want to lightly lay them in there. You want to make sure they don't stick to the bottom. Okay, on the cube steak, you just want to cook it until it's brown. You're not going to cook it until it's done because it's going to finish cooking off in the crock pot. You can actually fry it until it's done and just make a gravy and serve it on top. But I'm going to do the crock pot method today. And I've already lightly sprayed the crock pot with cooking spray. I'm going to add four cans of cream of mushroom soup. can half in this recipe depending on how much cube steak you have. I'm going to add a cup of water and I'm going to add two packs of the Lipton onion soup mix. Okay, you want to make sure you stir all this well before you add the cube steak. It's already extremely tender, so you don't want to mess with it too much when you place it in. You just want to kind of cover it with the mixture. Okay, now I'm just going to place the uh, cube steak in there. It's cooled a little bit. And you just want to kind of cover it the pieces again you want to be as light as possible because it is so tender it'll just fall apart already you can actually just put the raw cube steak in the crock pot but I just prefer to brown it a little bit just for extra flavor you can skip that step if you'd like All right, I'm going to finish doing this. You just want to put the lid on it and cook it on low for eight hours or high for four. Uh, you can check it. Uh, it'll be pretty tender after a few hours. It just uh, develops the flavor more the longer you cook it. Okay, I went ahead and cooked it on high for four hours. You'll be very careful when you remove it from the pot because it's extremely tender. And there you have it. Thanks a lot.